Okay, so now we're going to look at a, a Flex Layout Custom Breakpoints demo. And it's a very simple demo. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm providing, uh, creating a breakpoint, a custom breakpoint. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my application um, uh, gets that media query uh, notification and does what it what it needs to do. And, and one of the things it's going to do is it's going to hide um, one of the elements and it's going to change the layout of the buttons when um, the uh, device changes, or let's say the viewport size changes. So just to give you an idea, basically what I have here is an index.html, which is the peach puff. I have uh, this, this darker green color, which is my root app component. And basically, I got a div tag here, which says this is the first div. And then I have a dodge blue div tag here with buttons uh, laid out. Um, both both of these have flex layouts, and the button um, the button items are uh, laid out in um, a row layout. And basically, what I what I want to do is I want to create a custom breakpoint so that when I change the size of the viewport, the uh, one div tag gets hidden and then the layout of the buttons goes into column okay so I picked a particular uh, size to do that and the size is not important uh, well it's only important in the sense that that I'm using my own custom directive and uh, uh, and I'm defining certain attribute values of that directive and I have to do things that I need to do and implement the functionality that I want okay so let's take a look at the um, code I am using angular 6 um, I'm using flex layout 6 and and basically um, let me let me put this in presentation mode just so we can see a little bit larger Okay, so so basically, uh, what I have here is I have an Angular application, and I, I have some directives, and I have some breakpoints. So let's look at the app module. The app module, uh, uh, basically, what I'm doing here in the app module is uh, I'm importing the Flex Layout module. I'm using um, a custom breakpoints provider that I developed on my own. And then I'm also using some directives that I uh, that I uh, created. Uh, one of them is a custom layout directive, and another one is a custom show hide directive. So both of these directives are custom. My custom show hide uh, directive I have to uh, uh, um, extend the show hide directive, which is in Flex Layout, and and I'll show you that in a minute. But my, my point is that I'm defining a custom breakpoint provider. I'm, I'm providing um, some custom directives. So I have my root component, my custom hide directive, my custom layout directive, and, and I have to list my provider in my provider section in my um, Angular ng module annotation. And then I bootstrap my app component. Okay, so let's take a look at the app component real quick. Um, there's nothing that complicated here. I basically just define a title, and let's look at the um, let's look at the template. Basically, what I have here is I have welcome to title. So this is to your welcome to your custom breakpoints demo, whatever I called it, and and basically. Um, I have uh, an H2 tag which says hide elements and change layout when printing on mobile devices. And, and then what I do is I have one div tag where I used a particular custom directive. And I called it excess.print. Um, and I say it's true, which means um, it is, it is uh, a mobile. Uh, true value that I want for print and if it is true I'm probably going to uh, hide something so it doesn't get print 
printed. So the value of that is questionable, but the truth is I need to negate that to hide whatever I need to hide, and I'll show you that in a minute. And then I also want to change the layout of my buttons to column. So I'm using two custom directives here. And so now what I have to do is I have to implement them. So first, first of all, what I do is I create a breakpoints file and I create a custom directives which use those breakpoints. So let's take a look at the breakpoints. And what I have here originally is I, I, I had uh, something that looked like this. And just for simplicity, I'm just um, I'm just going to uh, simplify this for you so you don't have to worry about that. But I have an alias I'm defining, xs.print, and I have a suffix, and I have a media query. And basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm defining this custom breakpoints provider to provide a breakpoint which I use the value print breakpoints. So what I'm doing is since I'm here's an array of breakpoints, one of them is xs.print, and and um, that's the breakpoint I'm defining. Use that value, and now what I have to do is is add this provider to my Angular module, and and I'm using my custom breakpoint. Okay, so now I have to uh, override some directives. So the first one I'm going to override is, is this one, because it's, it's um, relatively simple. Okay, so I have to import a show high directive from the flex layout module. Okay, then I import all this other stuff, which at the moment, I don't have to spend too much detail on it, because I know my goal is to extend the show high directive, create a custom directive, make sure that I call the proper super constructor on the, the show high directive, which is all this stuff. So cut, paste, the end. Now I know that I'm gonna be getting these, uh, these inputs for this print value in my directive. And I use this at input annotation for my custom media query. And every time um, uh, I get a notification for that, this function hide excess uh, gets called. Okay, so I get the value, and and I do some things here which aren't really that necessary. Um, the main line here is do the cache input on the show excess print value by negating my value. So let's say I set the value equal to true in the directive, and now I'm going to show excess print uh, negated, um, and so show excess print will be false and and I should be um, hiding whatever that uh, whatever element that directive uh, is is linked to because you know it is an FX hide okay so the, the goal here is FX hide this is the media query built in this is my extended media query alias okay so so basically um, and, and that's all you need to do to get the desired effect. Okay, so, uh, well, well let, let's go one step further, right? So this directive now is being used in my component, and, um, and, and that's why the module has to list it as a provider. Okay, so now let's look at the uh, custom layout directive. This is the FX layout selector, and this is the, the small device media query, and this is my custom selector, right? So I use the square brackets to indicate that um, uh, the directive is for an attribute of an HTML element, and I have an export class custom layout directive, and this extends layout directive. So notice I got to import that up here from the flex layout module. And the constructor is similar, um, uh, but, but, but simpler. And so what I do is I just provide that constructor and I invoke the super method of the layout directive. And, and then what I could do is I could catch these events these uh, FX layout events, 
and this one basically says um, that it's column. So this layout print value would receive a column, and uh, I would I would I, I log that set layout print value to column, and then um, I have a cache input um, for this object, and I define the layout xs print to that value. So this is a situation where um, as I'm changing the browser, I get this input event during my breakpoint and I could, as long as the media query is valid, I could lay out in column mode. And once again, um, I have to list that in my declarations. And and that's how I get this particular custom breakpoint demo working. So basically what I do is I'm waiting for my custom breakpoint to be hit. And at that point, I hide my div tag and I change the um, direction of my layout. And that's really all we wanted to show you. Um, it's just a little exercise on how to use custom breakpoints. Uh, notice my breakpoints uh, here is an array of JSON data. And so uh, I could define different ones there if I want to. But um, that's really all I wanted to show you for this particular demo.